Hello everyone, this is Zion Philosopher with another edition of Politics 101. And, um, and today we're going to continue our series, What Are the Issues? Talking about the issues that will come up or have already risen up in the presidential race of 2016. And um, last week I ended the discussion on um, on uh, welfare and I, dis- I discussed corporate welfare which is welfare given to corporations and businesses and today we're going to continue the topic on welfare but this time we're going to go to individual welfare now the two sides of it um <laughs> Welfare is very, it's a very, very much. A, there, uh, there are pretty much obvious people who are. The pretty much obvious differences between the left and right. The 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 people on the left. The, the argument of people on the left is that. There's um uh, life life happens to people and 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 unfortunately people go um they don't have a job the the rising living costs um they can afford housing they can afford things to buy the people are People below the poverty line and need to be helped, and so, to in order to help these people, the government has to create a has to have a program in place that, um, in order to provide with government aid directly, and um, of course the government aid is welfare, welfare but people. Um and they say that the people most in need are people below, I said below the poverty line, and and single mothers who are raising their kids alone, who who are struggling to 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 uh, provide for their families because they're the only. Um, person that brings the paycheck home, and so um, we need we need, especially we need to take care of single mothers. So, uh, so we need to give welfare to this, to the mothers and also to not only to single mothers, but also who are people who are who are. Disabled or sick, that's another debate entirely. The disability payments, um, um, so, um, but left for, but I'm, 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 we're respecting people who can, we have the ability to work, but circumstances have made it impossible for them to find employment or um jobs. Um so the argument for the other side is that the the solution to people in poverty and people who are struggling is is not welfare because that is a short term you, know, you give a month a dollar to a person one day and they will need a dollar next and what happens what happens when that uh, given a dollar turns not a day a week a month a year that person gets used um used to getting um that handout and 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 um it 
it destroys the work ethic of a person because a work ethic of a person is a, a person a normal with um would rather sustain herself and and pull her for her, him or herself on the bootstraps and the, the way that the the right wants to do let's deal with the problem itself and that's a lot the lack of opportunities and work um, and the lack of, of an uh, upward mobility meaning be able to be promoted uh, be salary increases everything that a person needs to sustain his or herself and the way to do that is to make it easier for employers uh, employers to um to uh to to make it easier for employers to to give those create jobs and give those raises um, the way to do it is to make a scratch structure create an um, environment where businesses do, do not have to spend m the money most of the money they make on um um on um payroll expenses or other or government compliance or um ta tax increases that are placed upon so the the way best way to help uh, those in poverty is is not to to fix to attack the the short term problem which the the lack of money is to attack is to provide the long term solution which is upper work opportunities and um, employment opportunities so you know for people to to um, to um uh, so, um help themselves out of that state of poverty and therefore they they feel more accomplished more um um more they have better self esteem because uh, they have uh income coming their way because of of the sweat of their brow so that's that's a conservative solution is to create more opportunity and that the way you are able to make easier on employers and um to hire people and to give them raises all right that, that's it that's it for now and hopefully oh wait um uh i'm uh, i forgot to address about the single mothers and the the uh, the way the system is is set up right now with single mothers is actually hurting hurting rather than helping because more 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 children are born out of wedlock and it is designed that people people who are in who are born into a into a, a play, um to a family where there's both mother and father that they're they are more um they respond more positively they they are more a uh, positive contribution to society so that uh, providing single mothers with welfare is actually an incentive to not to get married is that simple? It, uh, I see example of Sanskrit where a single mom doesn't want to get married because of fear of losing benefits. And we, as a society, we should, 
we can't live like that. We can't live um, with children out of wedlock who eventually turn to crime, and uh, it causes ill effects on society. All right, that's it. That's all I have to say on individual welfare.